Well, Robert, you've read the letter. Yes. And I want to know exactly what it means. Robert, it doesn't mean anything. Let's tear it up. I want the truth. I know, but it doesn't mean anything. I swear to you, I've been so punished. Oh, what does anything matter anyway? We've got our whole lives before us. Let's forget all about it and let us start over again. Exactly what does it mean? Don't ask me. I want to know. Don't ask me anymore, please. I want to know whether you've been my wife or just a common... Oh, I'll say that. I want the truth. You want the truth. Very well, you shall have it. Jeffrey Hammond was my lover. Go on. He was my lover for years. We were constantly together until about a year ago and he began to change. And then I, I couldn't believe it. I, he was still everything in the world to me. God. He was my whole life until I heard about that Chinese woman. And then I couldn't believe that. I couldn't believe that he didn't still love me. So I sent for him. You had the letter. Well, finally he came. I told him that I knew about that Chinese woman. He denied it. I knew he was telling a lie. Finally, I made him admit that it was the truth. And then he said to me that if he had to choose between me and that Chinese woman, he'd choose her. Oh, God, I don't know what happened after that. I went absolutely mad. I see that revolver and I fired at him and I fired and I fired and I fired until the gun was empty. And I gave you my name. Oh, oh. Worked and slave for you. I know. I know. I know I've been vile, but I've no excuse to offer. And don't forget this. You brought me out to this filthy place, this godforsaken place, and you kept me here for seven years to live among a lot of dirty natives and dowdy planters' wives. My youth going, eating my heart out with loneliness, trying to make a go of it. And I did try. I did try for your sake. And what did I get from you? Nothing, nothing. Your whole life was just wrapped up in rubber. Rubber, that was yes. my business. Your business. Working to make money to give you the things you wanted. What I wanted. What I wanted, I'm flesh and blood. What I wanted was love, affection, happiness. But you took everything for granted. Once you got me out here to this godforsaken place, all you thought about was rubber. All that was on your mind was rubber. All day long, I was alone. All night, I had to listen to you talk of rubber. Rubber, rubber, rubber! Is it any wonder that when a man came along and talked to me of love and romance and music, that I fell into his arms? Well, I did. And it's done now. So what are you going to do about it? Nothing. Nothing? Just that. What do you mean by that? Nothing. You don't mean to say that now that I've told you the truth that you expect to go on living with me out here? Yes. Why don't you send me away? Send you away? You're not going anywhere. There's no money to send you away. You're going to stay here. Right here in this house with your memories. Ah, so I'm to be pinched. I'm to be punished, am yes. I? I'm to live here in this house with my memories. Very well. All right, if you with your smug respectability are going to punish me, and that is to be my punishment, that I'm to remain here in this house with my memories. All right, I'll give you something to remember. I, with all my heart and soul, still love the man I killed. Ha <laughs> ha! Take that, will you? With all my heart and all my soul, I still love the man I killed.